big data and data mining. We are entering an era where society is generating and accumulating massive amounts of data. This is the result of our increasingly connected digital systems coupled with a tremendous increase in computing power and data storage capacity. To put this in perspective, consider this. Since the beginning of time until 2003, humans generated 5 billion gigabytes worth of data. Today, we generate that amount of data every two days. By 2014, we will generate that much data every 10 minutes. The amount of data is increasing at such a fast rate that we have had to invent new terms to quantify data. For example, a bit is the smallest unit of data a computer uses. A byte is equal to 8 bits. A kilobyte is 1,000 bytes, about a paragraph of text. A megabyte is 1,000 kilobytes, about a small book. A gigabyte is 1,000 megabytes, which represents 10 filing cabinets. A terabyte is 1,000 gigabytes. This is 3.6 billion photos, 300 hours of video, or 1,000 copies of the Encyclopedia Britannica. 10 terabytes could contain the entire printed section of the Library of Congress. A petabyte is 1,000 terabytes, which is about 20 million four-door filing cabinets or 500 million floppy disks. An exacerbyte is 1,000 petabytes. Five exacerbytes would equal all of the words ever spoken by mankind. A zettabyte is 1,000 exacerbytes. Not a lot to compare it to, but uh, to say that it would certainly take a whole lot of ones and zeros to fill it up. And finally, yottabyte, which is 1,000 zettabytes. It is estimated the entire internet takes up about one yottabyte. Big data offers the potential of immense economic and social value that can touch and shape every aspect of our daily lives. The usefulness of big data is made possible through an emerging field of analyzing information referred to as data mining. Data mining is the practice of automatically searching and analyzing large stores of data from different perspectives so as to discover patterns, associations, trends, or new information. Data mining is also referred to as information harvesting, knowledge discovery, or data dredging. Data mining utilizes sophisticated analytical software and algorithms to extract useful information from raw data that can be used for a variety of purposes, such as marketing, predicting future behavior, forecasting events, detecting fraud, evaluating risks, and generally improving our lives. The successful mining of big data can yield valuable information. For example, the discovery of the adverse effects of the drug Vioxx, which led to its ultimate withdrawal from the market, was a result of data mining of clinical and cost data. Another example is where healthcare professionals studied Twitter data to track the spread of cholera in Haiti following the earthquake in 2010, enabling them to take preventative measures. Airline purchase transaction logs revealed that the 9-11 hijackers bought one-way tickets with the same credit card. The benefits and uses of data mining for businesses which market consumer products have been well chronicled. For example, one Midwest grocery store chain, by analyzing sales data, learned that when men bought diapers on Thursdays and Saturdays, they also tended to buy beer resulting in the store totally changing its store layout. And of course, Amazon analyzes data to suggest additional books that a customer might want to consider buying. Targeted and personalized internet ads are delivered based on analyzing the mountains of personal data collected on each of us as we surf the internet, use loyalty shopping cards, and interact on social networking sites. 
In a study commissioned by the NAI, researchers discovered that well-targeted ads are twice as effective as ads delivered without targeting. Walmart, Target, and other large retailers use sophisticated data mining techniques to decide what products to sell, when to sell them, how to display the products in their stores, and what prices to charge. Of course, the collection and use of data raises a host of privacy concerns. Privacy issues are usually addressed through some form of consent or permission from the data subject, disclosure of the data collection through a privacy policy, and anonymization, pseudo-anonymization, or encryption of the data. In May of 2014, the White House issued a report on big data, focusing on how the public and private sectors can maximize the benefits of big data while minimizing its risks. The report predicted that big data technologies will be transformative in every sphere of life and raises considerable questions about whether the traditional frameworks for privacy protection, based on notice and consent, can apply in a big data ecosystem. Selected portions of the report, as noted in the syllabus, are required reading for this week's class discussions. Over the next few years, Congress, state legislatures, advertising networks, retailers, scientists, and privacy advocates will wrestle with the challenge of balancing the significant health, national security, law enforcement, and business benefits of data collection and mining with the principles of privacy and data protection. In our next lecture, we will look at one specific aspect of the data mining industry, information brokers who collect, aggregate, and sell personal information gleaned from public records.